morning everybody um it is what is it 28th so today is the day i am at general rv here on ocala um as you can see i'm picking up my travel trailer it took a few days but i tell you what if you guys are in the need of a, of a trailer come here to ocala general rv um i worked with cheyenne who was my sales person and jim in finance they pushed for this there were so many hurdles i had to jump through to get this done not on their end but they could have just said oh you got denied and kind of let it go at that but they pushed 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 and got it approved took care of everything um it's gonna be a great travel trailer i'll do a video on it fully but completely impressed so again anybody needs a travel trailer or something like that come to general rv in ocala ask for cheyenne uh jim will work with you in finance give me an excellent deal probably better than that I should be getting, but uh, they definitely took care of me. So uh, more to follow and stay tuned for the video. All right, I am done. I'm heading out. They got the backup camera installed. Look at my new home for the next four years. I will do a video, but this is official because this is my truck and it is hooked up to my truck. So stay tuned for the video. I'll do a thorough walkthrough and go a little bit more over it. All right. So of course you have your entryway. Um, I bought this little hook thing and I'm sure there's a few other shelves here and there that I will purchase along the way. Um, a lot of your awning controls are right here and you get in the slide for the dining area, uh, porch light, interior light. Um, I like these cabinets are right here. They got their own separate kind of LED lighting, which is pretty handy. So that's pretty neat. Um, of course you got your couch right here. Um, it does fold out into a, a bed. And he got storage down below, and actually down behind one of those is a uh, safe that comes pre-installed in here, which is pretty nice to have for any extra valuables, although I have one in the truck. It's never a bad thing to have more than one. So the only thing I'm kind of iffy about is the way that Forest River did these. I mean, I know they're kind of cut down our weight, but I don't know why you put a drink there, but luckily there's these little side tables on each side, plugs underneath, and little storage cubbies as well. So plenty of lighting. That's one thing I do love about this thing is there are windows pretty much everywhere in here. And as well as every light, even the main ones, you can turn on and off individually. So you can customize um, maybe how you want your lighting. So, which is pretty neat. So that's pretty awesome. So this is the one slide. The uh, dining room also of course falls down into a bed as well. Storage underneath each one of these. It's just my lawn chair that's temporarily here. So just the one slide. Of course, you just heard the AC kick on, which is better. Although I do love this icy breeze, and it worked great in the tent for when I needed it just a couple times because it wasn't really hot yet. But to have AC, um, I'm not going to lie, it, it does make things a lot more comfortable. So uh, it did come with a TV, which runs off the 12-volt system, which I'll show you on the outside as well. Uh, this does have a 100 watt solar panel on the roof that charges directly to the battery but and the battery prime, uh, runs the tv which is nice and the refrigerator runs off the battery so a lot of times what i've heard is if you turn refrigerators on and off on and off when you're rving or camping for a week here or a week there it does shorten the life of the refrigerator but i can leave this thing on 24 7 when i'm driving on the road camping i never have to turn it off and let things thaw and recool so, you know, it has the freezer, and it's pretty good size. So, I can't complain. Better than my uh, Dometic uh, cooler refrigerator that I have, which will now permanently go in the truck. So, if I'm traveling, I can keep things cold in there and put, hook it up to the solar system in the back of there and always have that as well. So, got a little spice rack storage here. Uh, plenty of under storage cabinetry. Got my all my Tupperware, pots, pans, my Instapot. So plenty of storage there. Uh, I met my dad last weekend. He brought up my coffee pot and a few other things once I figured out I was actually getting the trailer. So um, it does have a round sink, a little bit unique. Uh, most are square or double, but it is pretty deep. Um, so I don't mind it. I mean, it works for me. And somebody mentioned on a YouTube video, hey, you can put a crock pot in there. Oh, that's true. You could put a crock, crock pot in there. So, and also with these trailers, um, it doesn't have outdoor speakers or anything like that, but they do give you a JBL Bluetooth speaker. And I've been jamming to this thing all day, so it's actually pretty loud, pretty good bass, so can't complain there. So, three burner stove, 
Uh, just like any other one, lift it up. So and this even has little LED lighting for the things. Um, no, over, it does have a vent, which is nice, but that means the microwave slash convection oven is down here. Oh, there it is. If I push the right thing. So, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, it's too low. Well, your oven would be down there anyway. You would have to reach down to get it. So, you know, it makes no difference to me. I probably won't use it a ton to begin with. I may even be cooking up, up here, but at least I have it. It is dual purpose, convection and microwave. So that is pretty handy to have. So uh, down here you do have your, all your fuses are pretty handy, pretty conveniently located. And what I do like about this, it does have a road vac HVAC system in here. Now I didn't buy the hoses for it because I, I have a dry wet vac that I brought with me to begin with. But this has a kick plate. You just sweep your stuff. I mean, come on, you can't beat that. You just sweep it in the hole and it's, it's good to go. So I do like that feature. So then you got your bathroom. Uh, not too bad size wise, um, plenty of storage cabinet. Uh, medicine cabinet and stuff so and you got your full shower full shower pretty good size um, I'm standing up in here and I've got probably a good half a foot or more of space so plenty of space for me plenty of room but I also like about this too it has a recycling system so when you turn your water on instead of wasting that water it comes out and it just drains out in your gray tank or whatever until it gets warm. If you flip this up, it will lock the it'll lock the water, recycle the water within the heater system, and this blue thing will start to turn gray when the water is hot. You flip it down and you have your hot water and you haven't wasted maybe half a gallon, a gallon, whatever it takes to warm up your the whether you're using propane or heater. So that's a nice kind of handy feature too, just to kind of save on some extra water, maybe if you're boondocking or out in the middle of nowhere and also in the bathroom are most all your controls, your water tank levels, um, fresh, it tells you gray, black, fresh water, uh, your battery level, um, water heater, water pump. And what I also like about this too, underside of the, on the underside of this for um, Ibex is completely sealed unit. It's kind of like a big skid plate or a rock guard or whatever you want. It's completely sealed. Nothing hangs down and all the tanks the gray, black, and fresh all have heaters within them. So if you're in colder climate, you leave those on and these also run off the 12 volt system. So if you're driving down the road in a snowstorm, I don't know why you would be, but if you are, you can leave these on to run off the battery. Battery's always being charged by the sun. So that's a kind of uh, handy feature to have too, especially it means I can probably stay in the Northern States maybe an extra month, month and a half when it does get cooler. I mean, maybe not the freezing temperatures, but hey, you never know. And this is your inverter. It tells you your battery level, um, full volts, and what's coming in, what's going out. So that's always kind of nice to have as well. You do have a actually pretty good sized pantry. So I fit all sorts of crap up in here. So the one thing this does not have in the kitchen is a pull out drawer for like your silverware. However, I had this three drawer thing already when i was camping so it works just the same works fine for me plenty of room for all my rice and beans <laughs> and oatmeal and whatever else i need to throw in here so i've already bought some little gadgets to stick around a little pop a bag thing so right there then you come in the bedroom which also has not just a curtain an actual pocket door which is nice to have a solid door instead of just a curtain for a little bit more privacy um, going around uh, it does have a full-size queen bed, which is pretty awesome. Again, plenty of storage. It is also lighted as well. Each side of the bed has USB ports. And there's also kind of little hidden storage since it is a curved front right there. What I like about this window, um, last night when I was laying down, I was actually laying up and you could see up to the sky and see the stars. I mean, that, that's, that's a pretty neat feature. I don't know if they intended to do it like that, but that's the way it works. And as most campers do, they have under bed storage, which I put my suitcase, all my extra hygiene items, things of that nature. So I did add an extra hydraulic. This one wasn't quite holding it up with the extra weight. So I just added a second one to it and it's good to go. Uh, enough outlets, enough plugs everywhere. 
so it's a 27 foot overall uh, trailer I think it'll more than work for just myself so yeah a little bit of an upgrade from the tent I did try it I was taking the tent for two weeks and if it hadn't been, le been leaking and the tent kind of going to crap and knowing that this is rainy season and everything um, I might have stayed in it longer but yeah, I did two weeks I tried it out this is gonna be a lot more comfortable I think I'll be travel be able to travel in the northern states an extra month month and a half than I would have in the tent maybe even two months uh, because of the way it's set up so that's also nice to have it does have a heater in it as well it runs off propane which I'll probably never use because I love it being cold and of course you got your bottle opener right when you walk in and out of the camper because you always need a beer right and all of these seats and everything is since it's more of an outdoor unit they're all sealed uh, waterproof spill proof all that kind of stuff in there so yeah this will definitely work uh, again when it gets a little bit cooler i'll do a quick run around on the outside and we'll wrap it up and i'll get this posted all righty so in the front pretty standard for most campers nowadays electric tongue jack uh, which is nice to have a little light at night time self leveler leveler it does have the ability to hand crank underneath here if this thing ever does stop working uh, pretty nice to have standard equipment i do have the full sway bar uh, weight distribution hitch that was installed with this as well so which is nice it has two 20 pound uh, propane tanks you can run off of one switch it over run off the other or run both uh, either way uh, you got your power cord go to your vehicle tow volt battery which i'll most likely be switching out for because this is a kind of have to fill it as it goes with distilled water which i don't like but hey it was free it came with the camper i might put one of my agm 105 amp hour batteries back here and switch it out um just so it's better and a little bit more maintenance free I'll probably eventually switch to two of them so i could actually run things off of here longer because um the thousand watt inverter does run all the outlets when you turn it on as well as the refrigerator is full-time uh 12 volt as well so Gives a little bit long, longer uh, longevity with two batteries in here. Um, and of course you have your battery main shut off switch if you ever need to and brake bar uh, as far as that goes. Uh, main window, uh, self-installed little levelers which are handy to have. I actually got it right this time. They're pretty level. Uh, you got your pass-through storage, uh, little magnet holders, which is nice on both sides. So all of my extra crap fits in here, nothing too heavy because it does add to your hitch or your yeah your hitch weight. So you don't want to overload that too much, but it's all pretty much light stuff in here. So nothing major. All the hoses and everything goes in here. Uh, your direct water connection, which is nice. Um, this will dr run directly to all of your sinks, your shower, um, toilet, everything without having to fill your fresh water tank and utilize that with a pump or anything. So that's nice to have. Um, and you got your fresh water connection hose if you need to fill your fresh water tank, which is 40 gallons. Nice to have. Uh, got your galley tanks down there. Uh, obviously your sewage septic system. Uh, and it's nice to have these clear hoses uh, adapters. So when you are flushing them, you can actually see that the water is clear because that's what you're looking for when you do flush these out. And it does have a nice black tank flush. I have a separate hose for this. Um, you uh, put the water hose in there. And it has a self-cleaning little rotary brush in there. It cleans all the sensors and the tank a little bit more uh, thoroughly than just using gravity and the main water to flush it. So that's very nice to have as far as that. It does have 15-inch tires, off-road, knobby. No, they're not drive tires, but it does give this thing a lot better ride height, which is nice. And since we're underneath here, the underside is completely sealed. Uh, nothing hanging, nothing to really catch other than your main sewage pipe. Um, and your couple of drains. There's your septic tank drains. Black is for black, gray is for gray. Yeah, make sure those are pushed in. So it does give it a better ride height. It's completely sealed, like I said before. All the tanks are heated, which is nice for colder weather. So it's nice to have. And of course you got your slide. And I bought the little sewage thing, gravity, help gravity feed it. Uh, your main power cords, 30 amp trailer, plugs in satellite or cable satellite they do have cable here so i'm trying to hook it up and check that out uh your bumper 
removable caps where you generally everybody stores their sewage hose because it can drain and ventilate and it just keeps everything out of your storage from being nasty and crappy so up here i'm going to climb up here so give me one second i'll show you what's on the roof all right so my big ass got up here uh, it is pre-set up for roof racks through i can't remember the company but they're pre-installed so if you want to put a cargo rack or anything like that up here it's pre-set up for it which is nice you got your digital antenna your 15,000 btu uh, your light this is a fully walkable roof it is full fiberglass so you can walk on this whole thing which is nice to have a full fiberglass and there is your solar panel up there 100 watt which obviously you can add more plenty of space to add more and powers the battery now stops so you don't have to worry about recharging the system so let me have hop my ass down all right made it down without us uh, you do got your full 15 inch spare uh, which is always nice to have. I need to get a tire cover just to increase the longevity. Um, I did have, because this is pre-set up for a Bluetooth backup speaker, so I got the full-time uh, camera, the 4.3 inch screen that goes in the cab, so I can always see behind me and when you're backing up. It's just, it's nice to have. I can't stand not seeing what's behind me, so I had to put that and get that installed. It's very handy to have. And of course, I got my travel. This, they had the last one, so Florida's checked off, Georgia here pretty soon. And then I'm gonna shoot straight up to Maine and just keep working down and kind of go back and forth as much as possible because this thing sucks gas like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> it's hauling this thing. So you got your awning. Yeah, the tree's in the way. No, I didn't park it incorrectly. I'm in my spot. It's just the way it is, but it's enough to keep any rain if it does rain just outside the door and don't have to worry about it. Uh, steps are really nice because these when you're getting ready to travel these actually fold up in inside which is nice to have so increases ground clearance once again you do have adjustable foot pegs so if it doesn't go down all the way you can adjust it to stay nice and flat um, it did come with a nice slide on outside table and griddle top propane stove um, runs off and there is a quick disconnect underneath here that came with the cable which is nice to have if you want to cook outside and things like that so pretty awesome yeah i also every time i park i do spray around every contact point on the ground from the trailer with with our home defense just to keep ants and critter crawlers from crawling up in there i just spray anything that hits contact with the ground so a uh, little quick disconnect port spray kind of disappointed it didn't come with the sprayer so i'm trying to find one so you, it does hook up so you have a little hose out here if you want to spray off the grill or something like that so your vent for the stove it does have um, under awning led lights and your porch light over there uh, out here is your hot water tank system it's a six gallon so this can run off of propane which if you're going to use protein propane the switch is in the bathroom or if you just want to run it off electric you just turn the switch on down here and it could run off of either or which is nice to have especially so you don't waste your propane if you're hooked up to electric so not a, not a bad deal so today i gotta go through and put i got some screening to further cover all these vents around here highly recommended to do um especially your exhaust port so cr uh critty crawlers crawly critters whatever you want to call them don't get in there and clog up your system so that's one of my uh jobs for today so i mean pretty simple Pretty straightforward, uh, overall length 27 foot, uh, hitch to end. So pretty nice trailer. I think I've covered everything. I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough so I didn't bore you guys too much, but uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, pulls great, pulls nice with the with the 2019 Ram Rebel 5.7 liter. So that thing can tow 11,340 pounds. So this thing gross vehicle weighs 5,000. I can put an extra 2,600 pounds of cargo, which I don't nearly have that in there. So, I mean, I've, got plenty of uh extra weight to pull if needed so if you have any questions uh any suggestions that maybe i'm missing as a newbie camper um a little couple 110 outlets out here uh let me know in the comments so like i said this is my first official full length three week camp set obviously i'll be doing this for four years i'll get better at it better as it better at it as i go along and uh kind of figure out things a little bit more and what works and what doesn't work so oh also what's nice about this is has what's called asdell siding so it's 15 year warranty from it will, won't crack bubble 
uh, warp or anything like that, which is very nice to have. And I also did get an ECP coated, which is a nano ceramic coating. So normally if you have a travel trailer and you're out and it's not under cover, it's recommended to wax these things uh, two to three times a year to keep anything from fading and cracking and just the, the paint and stuff like that. That coating, uh, I won't have to wax this thing at least for seven years, seven to nine years. So about 1400 bucks, yeah, a little pricey, but it's just, again, I'm thinking long-term, uh, more money in the end to save so I don't have to come out here and hand wax this thing or pay two, three, four hundred bucks every twice a year or whatever it is to come uh, to do it as well. So um, both those features are actually really nice, the Asdell siding and the nano ceramic coating uh, to help the longevity of the camper. So again, any questions, let me know. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends, hit the bell, and follow along on my journey. All right, till then.